What strand should you take in high school if you want to be a flight attendant? Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode. Hi, my name is Ruth. If you are new here, I make flight attendant interview tips video on this channel on a weekly basis. And if you are a fresh graduate looking for information all about the topic of becoming a flight attendant, or if you are currently thinking of switching your career from the one that you have right now into a cabin crew career path, you are on the right place. So please consider subscribing on this channel to benefit from my weekly videos coming at you every Mondays. So on this video, as I have said in the thumbnail, we will explore the different strands in high school and how you can relate it to the flight attendant job or what strand should you get if you want to be a flight attendant well ladies and gentlemen girls and boys if you are listening to this it's a common knowledge that flight attendant job does not require you to finish any specific course like tourism or things like that even though there are strands that is more like geared towards tourism and geared towards the career or could help you develop skills that you might use on a daily basis as a flight attendant any strand will do so the point of this video is we will explore each and every strand and let's see how you could connect that to the flight attendant position once you are already applying to become a flight attendant. And this way you could convince the recruiter to hire you given what you have chosen as a strand in high school and ultimately if you ever finish college, right? So let's go ahead and explore all the strands in the Philippines. The first strand that we're going to talk about is STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. This trend is for everybody who are interested in this topic, science, engineering, or mathematics. To tell you the truth, we do have engineers as a flight attendants. We do have mathematicians, DS math graduate flying side by side with us when I was flying as a cabin crew, and it is not a problem at all. It is all about how you pass the interviews because the interviews is the key for you to enter this career. All right. So if ever you will be asked about your strength if you are applying let's say for Qatar Airways or international airlines that is minimum required to have a high school graduate degree then you could probably say that because of your extensive knowledge in science technology engineering and mathematics it will be fun for you to go through the training because on the training you will be exploring different parts of the aircraft and that's engineering there will be like calculations around uh, world clock and how you calculate your time different times versus when what's the time here in manila and when you land in australia let's say time difference calculations and all of that so it's still connected to the flight attendant position or the flight attendant career the next trend that we'll talk about is hums hums is all about humanities and social sciences this track is a good option for students who wants to explore the limits of their creativity and understand understand the phenomenon of culture, literature, and other aspects of humanity. Students in this track can work with different careers in their life, including dun 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 dun, yes, being a flight attendant. Because as a flight attendant, you deal with people all the time. You deal with humans from the captain to the flight deck crew to your senior purser to your co-cabin crew to your ultimate customers the passengers there is a lot to gain in this track because you'll be able to know the nature of humanity and that way it'll be easier for you to transition to study about customer service giving a good customer service to the passengers and even having good relationships with your co-crew and flight deck crew so if you are interested in this track it could still be connected with that because it's all about people and the career of a flight flight attendant is also all about people. The next strand that we want to talk about is ABM. ABM is accounting, business, and management. Hmm, maybe you dreamed of putting up your own business, maybe your own airline someday. 
right? Or maybe you have always wanted to become an accountant. So if you want to have this type of career as your options further on in life, being an accountant or doing a business, it could still be related to flight attendant career. Because if you are a flight attendant, you are basically managing the whole business of flights because up there in the air, there's nobody there. There's no manager you could go to. You're the one who will manage everything. You will manage the food. You will manage customer complaints. You will manage how to ask for different supplies. You are going to have to think in advance and deal with the different pressures that is there or present during the flight or during the execution of different procedures in the flight. So management is a really good skill that you can have, especially if you need to do time management. Because for example, if you're flying a domestic flight and you're the leader, you're gonna have to divide and conquer, manage your time, how much time are you gonna spend feeding the customers, how much time are you gonna spend taking care of safety protocols because we're already landing and things like that. And maybe the captain wants to close the door right away, you're gonna have to manage with the ground crew how many supplies you need depending on how many passengers you have on board. So these are things that requires a lot of analytical and management skills that you could benefit from if you study more on this track and these are the skills that you could apply to the flight attendant role. Alright, by the way, if you are a fresh graduate and you're looking into making your resume, I do have a tutorial on how to create your resume if you are a fresh graduate and if you want to be a flight attendant. I'll put that video here and as well as different other tips are in my channel so make sure you check out the playlist on this channel. If you have reached this part of the video, we have covered so far three strands and the last one that I will talk about is the one that is actually on point to the flight attendant career which is actually if you graduate on this track you could automatically apply and you will have a good connection to the flight attendant career. This is your strand. I will explain later, okay? So stick until the end. If my content has been helpful to you, to your cabin crew journey, if you're researching about the topic, please let me know by liking this video or leaving a review on my podcast if you're listening over the podcast or the Facebook page. That really helps me out a lot and it enables me to make more free videos on this channel. All right, the next strand that we would like to discuss is GAS or General Academic Strand. So GAS is for students who are not really decided on what they want to do or what they want to do after senior high. They just want to have a general academic strand. So also as well, if you are more academically inclined, you like studying, this will be the strand for you. There is lots of field that you could go on after taking this strand. This strand offer courses that can hone skills that are up applicable to any field that you pursue because it's general, right? <laughs> so immerse yourself in the diverse learning experiences that can shed light on the career path or college course that you want in the future. So this is something that you can do if you're still undecided after watching this video or researching after watching lots of other videos about the topic. <laughs> this is a safety, like I think, a safety track that you could go to and just until you finally decide what you Really want. There's no shame in that and there's nothing wrong in taking your time to decide what you really want because sometimes what you want changes and it's wise to decide later if you really don't know what to do right now. Alright, and last but not the least, it's called TVL or Technical Mechanical Livelihood Strand. This is a perfect choice for students that want to explore employment opportunities locally and overseas as soon as possible. So if you want to work right away after your high school graduation, this strand offers test the national certificate, which is a necessary document for making most of work opportunities as soon as possible possible. So you could apply to that if you are under this strand. Specifically, I was talking about earlier is what strand is like super swag or super the right fit for the flight attendant position is what they call the home economy 
dynamic strand so you'll get to know hospitality it's like a mini tourism course mini hrm course but also includes cooking and cookery so if that's your jam cooking and baking this could be the strand for you but the thing that i like about this strand is trainings that you do at grade 12 some schools will allow you to go to hotels go on duty then you will have like a first-hand experience on how to do customer service this is actually one of the main parts of being a flight attendant which is customer service we are focused on our customers and any hospitability industry experience you might have is a right fit for the flight attendant position so under tvl there is this home economics there is ict which is information communications technology and then there's desk making so under this trend it's he that i recommending because i don't know it's just really vocational and there's just so many other things that you could do and the only reason i really want this as a right fit for a flight attendant is because of the experience like i said the experience of going to duty in a hotel setting in a hospitality setting like a cafe a restaurant if you have an experience on that that automatically counts as a customer service experience so that will help you out in your resume if you are trying to find a good fit and also if you want to pursue tourism course in your college days so go ahead and explore any strand that you like know that anything can be connected to the flight attendant position and also anything can be accepted because there is no required strand or required course for any flight attendant aspirant to apply for the position so whatever it is even if it's a teacher course you know if you're graduate in education i graduate in nursing so it's totally not related but you know what i still got the job because i tried to connect what i learned in the nursing course and actually i'm an asset to the flight attendant position because once you fly on air there is no doctors there there is no clinic i could actually help in giving first aid to anybody who might need it you know so that's how you get what you want in life if you're a young person listening to this that's how you find ways to make your dream come true just try to connect the dots first of all you need to learn more about the flight attendant industry the flight attendant role and career responsibilities so that you would know how to connect whatever it is that you have even if it's swimming or even if it's playing in a team position sports team in school you could also use that to your advantage during the interview because the skills that you learn there is applicable so my advice to you is just to try to learn first what is the flight attendant position and what are the roles and responsibilities i think i have a video here i will link it in the cards just so you know i also have an online course about that it's a free course i'll try to find the links and put it in the description box to you guys so just go ahead and check out that course that video that i had about cabin crew roles and responsibilities and then whatever it is that you take for your strand in senior high can be connected to the flight attendant position in the comments please write your burning questions about the flight attendant applications or the flight attendant career and i will try to cover that on our next q and a video right next month okay so in the meantime i would recommend for you to check out my video what i think is the best airline to work for commentary vlog it will be right here click on that in that video i share my opinion on which is the best airline to work for as a cabin crew on the perspective of the cabin crew what benefits you would get from different airlines what's the working condition what is the different destinations and things like that so i will be putting that on the screen right here click on that right now and i will fly with you soon Bye. Here we come, come with me, there's a way.